I've always thought that these tunnels are really small for a car in Lille, you know. Um. In today's video, I'm comparing the payment systems in India with that in France. Now, I'm focusing on the convenience of making a payment for a small transaction without hard cash. So, digitally. Now, I've spent 24 years of my life in India and consuming tech in India can get really frustrating. First of all, the tech will arrive years after it's arrived in other countries. And secondly, it's usually more expensive. Until now. In France, the most popular method of payment is the invincible carte bleue. There's not much to do to improve this method because it's been perfected over the years. For small payments here, you have this Sans Contact technology with this little logo on the card. All you need to do is wave the card in front of the payment device and the payment gets through. That's really convenient with the risk that if it's stolen, then someone can pay up to 20 euros on your behalf. The obvious pros of the card is its size and its long life. Over the last three years, I've only changed my card once because the song contact feature wears off over time. Now, it looks all rosy on the friend side apart from this one thing, and this might spoil everything. It takes up to three days for your transaction to show up in your internet banking. So if you have 100 euros in your French bank account and you spend 10 euros today for breakfast, then for the next three days, your bank account is still going to show you a 100 euro balance and that can get misleading, especially for someone who lives on the edge and I end up paying fees sometimes because I went over to the dark side. Back in India, almost everything is different. Of course, we have cards back in India and we also have the song contact technology, but it's only accepted by a couple of franchises in a couple of stores in one city. Back in France, you can pay everyone from your grocer to your neighborhood baker to the street side ice cream stall with your card in any city of the country. So the cards in India still work. They just don't have that song contact thing. Um, but there's something else in India that France doesn't have and that's probably the most exciting part of this video. Enter UPI, Unified Payment Interface. This system gives the credit card a run for its money and this is where I want to spend some time on. This instantaneousness of the UPI or any other transaction in India doesn't have to do with a disadvantage of the card necessarily but it really is an up for Indian banking systems. Hear me out. Back in 2012, something like that, when I asked my dad to send me money or because I was running out when I was a student, I would call him from inside the ATM and a queue outside or I would just send him a text and it would instantly show up in my account from zero to 500 rupees instantly. And I could draw that money instantly. And that's something that the French system cannot do. So the UPI works out of a phone and it's actually this infrastructure that many apps can base their technology out of. There's a myriad of apps that accept and send money based out of the UPI platform. Right? If you try to send someone money through internet banking method earlier, you need to add a beneficiary and for that you need their account number, a couple of codes and wait for a couple of days after you've added the beneficiary to be able to send them money. Now the UPI takes all of that information and squeezes that into one username and password. The UPI ID and the UPI password, the UPI pin. Now what's more is you can just scan a QR code in order to pay and you see these codes everywhere in India. The street vegetable vendors has it, the street food vendors, they have it. Everyone has a QR code for a UPI payment. 
Now, this convenience and speed exists nowhere else apart from, probably China, but nowhere else apart from India otherwise. And WhatsApp wanted to try its hand on sending money, like you send an image or a video, you can send money to your friends. And the one country that they rolled out a beta version for test was India. This is just scratching the surface of the features. I think I should do another video because I have so much more to tell. But because of its speed and its versatility, I think the UPI wins. Now with requiring to use your phone, there are cons. The cons include you need to have a working internet connection on your phone. You need to have battery on your phone. Otherwise, the system won't work. But what I like is if you're in a city and you need to make a payment really fast, cashless transaction, then this will always work. India has one of the cheapest internet connections in the world and with the advent of that, this payment just makes so much sense. If you lose your phone, then you definitely won't lose your money. Even if your phone was unlocked, if you don't have a screen lock on your phone, the one who stole your phone also needs your UPI pin. And if he doesn't have that pin, then he can't make the payment. Unlike the song contact, card thing which was really convenient but you can lose up to 20 euros that's it for this video guys i hope that comparison was interesting if you didn't know something about it i hope that was informative thank you so much for tuning in today i'll see you guys next week and until then keep learning